Now to what might be the story of the day. Florida State, of course, undefeated at 6-0, and and some people say it's all thanks to this goldfish. The fish is one fan's good luck charm. Yeah, you heard that right. Our Savannah Kelly talked to that fan. She's live at Doak Campbell. Savannah, there's definitely something fishy going on here. How did this fish end up going to every game? Well, Jacob, it started out as a joke, just a funny idea that a fan had. He brought the fish to one game and then FSU won. So he thought, well, maybe just to be safe, I better keep bringing him. And now six games later, he's afraid of what might happen if he doesn't bring Garnet the goldfish. If you watched the FSU game on Saturday, you might have been wondering what in the world is a fish doing at this football game? How? Why? Yeah. <laughs> like just some basic questions of how did a fish get in the game? The same fish has attended every game this season, meeting the players, cheerleaders, and even coach Mike Norvell. It's left fans with questions. And where did the fish come from? Because it's just in a bag. I tracked down the man who can answer them, Jack Henyes. <laughs> okay. Um, do you mind holding them for a second? Proud owner of Garnet the Goldfish. It is the same fish every time. Jack says he bought Garnet at the end of August, right before FSU's first game. At first, we did kind of sneak the goldfish in. I wear overalls every game. Let's just say he was somewhere around the overalls. After the first few games, Jack figured Garnet might just be the Knoll's good luck charm. I mean, nobody's going to argue with being 6-0. and And security guards gave him the okay. And they said, you can just walk in with him. I mean, who could say no to that face? Oh, he actually is a really cute little goldfish. Garnet has seen the world through his plastic bag. Luckily, TSA allows fish as carry-ons. He's been to Orlando, Boston, and Clemson to see FSU play. Next month, he'll be catching a flight to Pittsburgh. He's done a lot of things in his life that some people haven't been fortunate enough to do. Jack has always been a super fan. Because I used to, in high school, put like glitter, like full body glitter for our school. When FSU made it to the Cheez-It Bowl, Jack was dubbed the cheesiest fan. And back in 2020, he held up this sign at a game. Now, FSU did beat UNC. Jack's leg is proof. I'm not really the biggest on tattoos, so at least it can always be covered. On Saturday, Jack will be in the stands at Doak, and his fish will be right beside him. They say that goldfish have 10-second memories. I think this one remembers all the games and the big moments. I think he knows who Jordan Travis is. So if you're at the game amidst all the garnet and gold, keep an eye out for Garnet the goldfish. Now get this, Garnet even has his own uh, Instagram page. It's at Garnet the Goldfish. That's where you can follow along with all of his travels and keep up to date on what he's up to. Live in Tallahassee, Savannah Kelly, WCTV Eyewitness News. Oh my goodness, Savannah, I don't know where to start. I will say one thing, there's a far way to go, but if they, they go all the way and they get the championship, I think there needs to be a goldfish on the ring, the championship ring, given all he's done. Uh, Savannah, <laughs> thanks so much for bringing that into our living rooms here. That, that is spectacular.